Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Bits. In today's video, I am going to show you how we can implement a scaffold inside our application. If you are already following our Jetpack Compose series where we are building beautiful Android application, you know that this is the current state of our application. Okay, we have one complete authentication module set up and we have also integrated Firebase as a real-time database for our Android application and inside this we have a state validation, we have UI and data layer segregated and we have created few users as well, right? So if we just try to log in with the users which we have created, we will be navigated to our home screen, okay? Let me just log in and show you this, okay? The moment we logged in, we are navigated to our home screen. But our home screen is looking very, very simple. In today's world, most of the Android application has some kind of toolbar at the top, some kind of navigation drawer, some kind of floating action button, and some kind of bottom navigation bar as well. For each of these parts, like toolbar or bottom navigation bar or floating action button, we need to do a lot of things, right? But Jetpack Compose came up with one component which is called a scaffold right we can utilize a scaffold and we can provide the components for all of these parts and at one setup we can achieve all of these things how we can do that let me show you let's start today's video where we are going to implement a scaffold inside our application we are going to make our home screen more and more prominent and we are going to make it like it's production ready right because we are going to implement so many features inside our android application so let's start today's video where we implement a scaffold inside our home screen. Okay, right now this is our home screen. Let's just comment out everything here. Okay, and we need to use this scaffold. Okay, if I take you to the declaration of this, it has load of parameters. Okay, we can pass modifier. Obviously inside every composable, we can pass one modifier. Then we have some kind of top bar for our toolbar. For bottom bar, we have for navigate for bottom navigation and then we have for floating action button also for navigation drawer also all kind of support this scaffold has you can consider it like one parent container for a screen okay okay so let's start designing one component for our top bar okay so this is basically kind of a toolbar so for this we are going to design one new composable inside our app components file okay and we are going to write one new function let's say app toolbar okay this will take one toolbar title and this will be of a string type we know this at least this function will take at least some kind of title we need to show inside our toolbar and we need to use this top app bar this is kind of a predefined composable and it is coming out of jetpack compose okay Inside this, we need to pass multiple things. First, we need to pass one title and just check it out. This is kind of a lambda. This is not taking a string as the value. It is taking a lambda. Okay, so let's use one lambda here for the title. We can use normal text component or let's say we use our predefined component for text, which is normal text component. This is also a text composable itself, but we have a lot of things, right? So let's use normal text component and for value we can pass this toolbar title. Okay. Now the next thing is we need to show some kind of navigation icon, right? So navigation icon means like on the left side you have that hamburger icon, that kind of thing, right? To toggle the drawer. Inside this we need to add one unit again. If you just go to the declaration. So navigation icon will also take one composable itself and we can just write one icon here. Now inside this we can pass one icon composable. Okay. And we need to use some kind of resource to show inside the navigation icon, right? So we can use predefined icons with the help of icons dot field dot menu. This will be one hamburger icon. We can just take advantage of this and we can just define one string resource, let's say menu. Okay, we can extract this to a string. All right, now we have our navigation icon as well. So let's take this to next line. Okay, we have one title now. We have one navigation icon itself. Now we can add some kind of clickable 
effect also inside this icon with the help of modifier if we just define one modifier and then we can just use clickable this one right so if we click on this icon we can just do something but for now we are not going to add one clickable we will do that once we design the drawer okay now let's try to make this icon as white color so we can use this tint and we can just pass here white color okay we have already defined this color inside this file color.kt so we can just utilize that okay so we have our component ready we can just try to use this inside our home screen so inside our scaffold we need to pass this inside this tow bar parameter okay so let's use that tow bar and again we need to pass this as a lambda as a unit right so we need to use these curly braces and inside tow bar we will just use app toolbar okay and for toolbar title we have one string resource we can just use home okay so our toolbar will have the title as home all right and let's say we only want to add this tow bar right so we need to just use this padding values as a named parameter here and then this was our screen right so we can just take this screen and inside our scaffold we can add that okay this is our normal screen as of now we only need to use this padding value this is a must so instead of this we will just pass this padding value out of our scaffold okay so this is one normal surface we have one normal container and inside this we have one column with one text and one button okay so let's try to run our application and let's see how our home screen is looking so instead of login again and again let's go to our router class and let's make this as the launch screen for now okay let's run our application again so the first screen will be our home screen okay so we can see that it's coming like this okay so first of all let's delete this home because now we have one title inside our top toolbar and let's try to modify this little bit okay so let's go to our app toolbar and inside our app toolbar let's try to use one normal text component right because this is using some kind of padding and all so what we can do is we can just use one normal text composable here itself so inside this we need to use text key so this will become one text composable and let's use one color also and we'll just use white color and now it will come in proper shape let's just run this and then we will modify it again for this logout button also we'll add inside navigation itself now it's looking little bit in shape we only need to do one more thing okay so now we need to remove this button component also which will be this logout but we need to add some kind of button or icon inside our navigation to use as a logout option right so to do that we need to come inside our top app bar and we can use actions okay and this will also take one unit and inside this we can also add one icon again okay and for image vector we are going to use icons and dot field dot logout okay this is one icon provided with jetpack compose itself and for content description let's say logout and let's extract this as a string resource okay so one resource is already present for logout so we can just use a string resource r dot string dot logout okay yeah now let's run this and let's see if it's at least showing up inside our navigation bar okay yeah so you can see that now we have some kind of logout button but we need to add one click event right so now we need to add one click effect on this button right so we have two options either we can use one modifier and then we can use modifier dot clickable or we can just wrap it inside icon button okay so this icon button has one own click function here we just need to write one high order function and we will return that to its parent we will just take this inside and inside own click we are going to add one high order function so let's say we write logout button clicked okay we are going to return this and we will define this inside app toolbar here okay so this is going to be one function 
and this will be of type unit okay so this button function will be returned as a callback whenever this button will be clicked by user right so now let's go back to our home screen and inside our home screen we are having our scaffold and inside app bar as you can see we have one error here which will be gone if we just use logout button clicked okay so now this way whenever someone clicks on this logout button we will be getting a callback inside this right so now we can remove this button and before that let's just copy this function which we need to call let's remove this and we can add this inside logout button clicked right so now if I just show you what's happening here we have one scaffold this is the parent composable where we can pass some kind of top bar bottom bar drawer or floating action button kind of thing and you can see that inside our home screen scaffold is the new parent it is taking one top bar as of now we have only defined one top bar which is kind of a toolbar and this toolbar is utilizing top app bar which is coming out of compose UI it just takes one title unit okay where we have passed one text then it takes one navigation icon which is kind of this left icon you can see we are using the pre-designed icon from jetpack compose library itself then we are using one kind of tint color okay to make it white and we are using one action okay action is basically this button inside action we are having this button here we can add text and some other component as well but we need some kind of button and whenever someone is clicking this we are just invoking this we can also do something like this invoke okay whenever someone clicks on this we are just invoking this high order function and whenever this function will be invoked one callback will be received inside home screen and we will be calling this logout function which is inside our view model and we are having some kind of firebase logic if you have missed this you can check out the previous video where we have implemented firebase inside our jetpack compose application now let's try to run this and let's see how it's performing okay so our application is looking nice we have the navigation screen name at the top inside our toolbar we have one button for logout functionality as well let's try to run it properly so let's make sign up screen as the initial screen and let's run our application so hopefully it will work perfectly so this is the application we have okay so we have this login screen it is showing errors as of now because we have a state validation for that also we have one video you can check that out now let's try to log in okay and for password let's enter the value we have this functionality also enabled now when we click on this it will take us to the home screen yeah we are at our home screen and we have this scaffold implemented with this tow bar right so as of now we only need this tow bar so it is showing us this tow bar in the next videos we are going to implement this navigation drawer and other things okay so guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this part if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel also please comment down your favorite part and please share it with your friends who are learning android or who want to learn android okay i will see you in the next video <laughs>